26th of July 2012. I'm back at Valley Ground Nurseries again. You can see the peppers on the left are probably maybe about two feet, foot and a half taller than the peppers on the right. Uh, the reason being is that we removed the pe uh, sorry the flowers in the early part of the season because we thought we had a deficiency um, with the peppers, but uh, we actually didn't. We were actually growing a different strain, as I've uh, highlighted in the other videos. You can see the formation's doing well. Lots of orange Palermo peppers, when we really should be growing Palermo red, but never mind. Plant's completely different, um, the way it grows and how strong it looks um, between the Palermo orange and the Palermo uh, yellow and red. Um, but everything's growing well. Plants, I'd probably say 14 foot tall on the canna side, on the taller plants, probably about 12 feet tall on the um, the uh, gold label cocoa but not bad for a a pot that's only two gallons in size eight and a half liters can't really complain at all it's all growing really really well I'm quite happy we're probably going to use rock wall cubes next year so that we're um, <clears throat> we've got a comparative grow with what they're doing on the nursery because obviously we're using a um, cocoa feed oh sorry not a cocoa feed cocoa substrate along with feeding um, with a rock wool feed so we're going to see if we can balance it out and uh, use the rock wool croutons and, uh, and then we use a rock wool feed but no all in all everything going really well We've got some good pepper production up here, so we've got half the runs in uh, in Palermo and half the runs in um, California Block Red. But all in all, it's going okay. So it's roughly from the tanks behind me to the end of the run. I think it's probably about 13, 14 metres long. We've got plenty of pressure. You can see all growing really well. You can see the peppers. We flush the lines. Well, every time I come here, probably every three or four weeks just to remove any sediment out of the lines. As I said, we were putting um, um, nitrozyme in the feed, but it's really too organic and too thick. So uh, we decided to stop it. It's not really caused any problems at all. It's just, uh, it just makes the lines a lot cleaner. I was a bit concerned that potentially some of the aquavals were gonna get blocked. I think a couple of them did get a bit snarled up, but we spotted them quickly. And it was because of the nitrozyme really. Ideally, not really suited for uh, putting in the auto pot systems or any line driven systems. So, it's probably wise to take it out, so we have done. But all in all, everything's looking pretty good. Pepper formation is great. Quite happy. Probably got uh, three, four months left of growth and pepper production. So, we'll see how we go. On yields, we're recording all the yields, so. Yep, I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, I'll speak to you soon. Take care.